Hey, look at this. I just hopped into this lobby. It's showing that I'm purple. I was the sixth player to enter, so I'm not entirely sure what the settings are. I tried to select blue. Blue was still an available color. It shows me as purple, but I'm... I am purple! Oh, and what is this? We gotta claim our territories. Oh, this is not what I expected at all. Fixed, balanced dice, novice to grandmaster, nothing, but it is, uh, like, it's, what is this even called? Manual setup, okay. I'm in the second position. I get to pick any territory I want. If I had this board, I've never done this before. I get to pick a territory. Any territory I want. Huh. <laughs> I don't know how this is done. I don't know the best way to handle this, but if I could have any territory on this map, I would take North Africa? Maybe Ukraine is better? I don't know. I don't know what the best square is. How about an alliance? Yeah, cool. All right, the Europe guy wants it. So I think this is dumb. We all like just take continents. How does this, how does this all work? <laughs> White is going for North America. Pink, you might as well take South America. Orange, you're the odd one out and you mess with people. Nah, or everybody can go for Australia. <laughs> Pink says not so fast. Okay, so perfect. So we're all just going to be like gentlemen <laughs> that I think calmly take our normal territory. Maybe I could put in the Mideast, but I won't even do it. Green messes. Is green like a person? No, green is a bot. Okay, so I should take the territories I don't want the bot to take, because I guess the bot might just add in here randomly. Wait, so this is going to work out great. Everyone is just going to get a continent. We're all going to be happy. I should have gone for a five-point continent. <laughs> what is this? Okay, I'll just go down here. I feel like this defeats a lot of the point of the early game of, you know... Getting continents. Just making sure everybody's a human or not. With a bot on the board. Wait, pink is not nice. I guess we figure out who's nice and who's not nice. You know what? Give me a nice safe Japan. You know what else is a good square? I guess I'll tell you if it's still available on my turn. Pink, you gonna mess with them? No, you just you just got this nice little chain. I mean, it doesn't like stop anything. You stop me on like turn one. How about an alliance? How about you bug out of my Egypt, bro? Siberia. Siberia is a good country. Yeah, hurts. I love you, bro. I'm not. I'm not mad at all. Do I get? All right. I don't really want either of those two, so it's fine that I don't get any. All right. All right. Now we place each troop individually. Holy cow. <laughs> we'll not aggress. North Africa is maybe the better place to do it, but let's not aggress orange. Let's show orange that we're friendly. Okay, we're very friendly, orange. And this is dumb, because, like, so I think, I guess the way that this works, everybody just grabs the continent and they put everybody on, you just put everybody into one large army. And you just basically start the game without the struggle of having to find a continent. So I don't like this at all. Not only is it a lot slower, but uh, I just entered into this. So I guess we're, we're sticking with it. And we'll see. We're skipping like the hard part of the game. I think that like initial fight for continents is kind of what is interesting about the early game. And a lot of people die in the early game. Because they just want, like, a continent and they, they're fighting somebody else for it. We still, I don't know, it's novice to grandmaster. Maybe we all take continents and we just see who are the breakers. Who are the kinds of people that are going to break. We can also kind of see, I think, the European player. He's got, he's got that kind of, I don't know, intermediate mindset of <laughs> defending all of the borders. Like, we're allies, so I don't know why. He, but maybe he's just worried about the bot. I'm not sure. The bot goes first. So green added to Australia, and then after one turn, pink contested Australia, and green said no. It's literally impossible. It's literally impossible. However, maybe the secret to this setting is that maybe people bought out before the game starts, which maybe is amazing. 
you know? Like, maybe that's just amazing. Maybe you get a bunch of free FFA points because always, like, one or two people just bought out and be like, oh, I didn't know this was the stupid setting. It's not easy to see in the lobby that this is the setting. I was the last to join, so I barely, I, I didn't even have enough time to flip my color. It flipped to blue on the screen. I'm going to have to get used to purple. But, uh, we'll see what happens. Do -do -do. How exciting. Orange is trying to defend a couple borders. Red is trying to defend every single border. <laughs> Pink has to fight this gigantic bot. Like, Pink might just die. <laughs> I might kill Pink on my second turn. Wait, Green goes before me? Why? If Green smashes this, I can literally kill Pink before they move. If Green adds here and smashes the 14, I will kill Pink before they can even play the game. <laughs> How crazy is that? That would be wild. All right. But the bot's not going to hit the 14, obviously. It's just, it was just kind of a wild thought. The bot leaves Australia, hit pink again. Incredible. Incredible. <laughs> amazing, amazing gameplay. I mean, as long as I keep this territory, I can always wipe pink out. So I go here. I mean, I can't imagine how pink lives. All right, red should be able to knock this bot out of here. We should be friendly. Whenever I see somebody just trying to protect all of their borders, I assume naturally that they're friendly. Okay, doesn't take right away. Okay, it does take, okay. This makes enough sense. It's clearly what you were going for. And then tries to defend all of his borders semi-equally, or at least with all threes. Now, white... Should be able to get North America on the first turn. White is also going to try to defend all the borders. Okay, they're going for it. Okay. Okay, amazing. How are they going to defend? Probably in Alaska? Camp Chatka? No, just kind of interior guarding. I feel like as white, you already have the intel that red is kind of friendly, but we'll see. Hits a three. Ooh, hits a seven. Loses eight. <laughs> 10 total troops. Go ahead, hit a one too. Okay, so I hope you enjoyed your turn, Pink. <laughs> Do we kill Pink for one card? Huh. Oh, don't wipe me out. Oh, I need this to kill pink. Oh. Oh, green died. Oh, I forgot that green died. Wow. All right, one player already dead. <laughs> and, and pink doesn't have that much left to go. I mean, it's only one card, though. It's only one card. I don't think I kill for one card. So I'm going to go here. I trust orange. I'm going to just, I'm going to go in the Middle East. For three cards, sure. Uh-oh. Red is going to hit me. No. Okay. Red's going to get a card. Okay, yeah, 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 yeah. No, that's no sweat, bro. That's no sweat. That's not my continent. You can attack that territory. That's that's no sweat. Maybe I should have taken pink out while I was just while I was in the area. Yeah, you because know, now if I want to kill pink, I actually gotta run. <laughs> oh, I gotta run through. Oh my gosh. So many places. But if pink's that wild, we'll leave him on the board. Okay. How does this all work? Takes pink out. Love to see it. Love to see it. Now for pink to get a card, they come out here. White is blasting away at orange. You're a neighbor to orange. Why are you blasting orange? I thought this game was going to be like insanely peaceful. Like you could almost start the game. Everyone has a continent. Nobody needs to fight. Watch pink take out orange. <laughs> But maybe that's not how it works. Maybe people just... 
oh, I got my continent. It's now it's time to go to war. Is that the mindset some people have? Wipe out pink. Wipe out pink. Amazing. <laughs> ah! <laughs> he failed. Oh, come on. What? Seriously? No, you did not. Homie did not. No, 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 no. No, you did not, sir. I do not play like that, my man. I'm not the guy you want to mess with, Orange. I am not playing that game. You are not the one calling the shots around here, okay? You don't. You better have a turn in if you want to smack me. That's not how I play the game. Hit white. I am trusting red. I'm also going to turn off some, some Discord notifications real quick. Oops. I'm sorry, but I need to... Okay, you can attack that territory as much as you want, my man. You can attack that territory as much as you want. You're, you're, you're cool. Thanks. All right. You're amazing. So white has already fought with orange. Orange decides to start beef with me. Nuh-uh. Nuh-uh. No. I'm not playing like that. Wait, I thought he was going to maybe run down and take my Australia away. But he's like, I already got, I got beef with Orange. He doesn't defend. Orange's easiest card is to hit white. And if you end up with four cards, you might be next. You're next on my list. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> Oh, I goofed around and found out. Hmm. I, I mean, killing Orange is insanely senseless. Okay, I'm going to try to win this game, obviously. I'm like a game away from losing my Grandmaster title, I think. <laughs> I, like, oh, I can't fortify there. All right, stay down there, whatever. All right, so hopefully white or red attacks orange. I would like to be friendly with white. We have been friendly thus far. I'm going to rebuild rebuild my life. Hopefully he attacks orange. Because he, he did attack orange. Orange is, like, so dead. Come on, attack orange. Do I need to tell you? Yes, 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 yes. I don't need to tell him. He's got it. He's got it. Orange is washed. <laughs> I'm in bad shape now, but orange is washed. Let's go. <laughs> okay. I would have liked for you to have stayed in there a little bit harder. Orange is going to get cards. Orange is at war with me and white. I will not be making any kills anytime soon. You'll catch my my stack will be over here turtling up. I don't like the feeling. I don't like being all turtled up. I have a uh, I got a turn in. Orange won't have a turn in. Orange is the only one that could kill me. Red, all of his stacks are buried. White is just split all over. So I can probably safely hold five cards. Nobody, nobody's in any position to aggress me. White will probably hit orange again, I would imagine. I don't, I don't see why you'd give up. You might even kill orange here. Yeah. All right. <laughs> now, here comes a horrible endgame situation. The three-player endgame and I'm in Australia plus am significantly the weakest. This is pretty much the worst position you can be in. This is a, a direct result. <laughs> I will just just turn in just to just to try try to safely take this. So I'm gonna try to keep both of these places. Red has an easy way to capture me. 
Whatever. Red goes to war with white. Wow. And me. But maybe because he wants to go to war with white? No. He's just a jerk. Wow. Interesting. So I'm in no position. Like, if somebody hits me, like, it is right to hit the weakest player. I'm surprised he also hit white. But it's not so easy for white to counterattack without blowing through I guess, some big thing. You either have to try to run and hit this 10. Okay, you're going to go through the 19. Oh, this is beautiful. Yeah, hitting white might have been a big mistake. I'm going to be able to hold Australia for a long time, I suspect. And the other two players are at war. What, what an amazing thing. Our alliance is over. Dude, what? White, at the moment that you asked me to hit white, what did you expect me to do in between my fortification phase? <laughs> All right, I don't want to be friends with red. I think this is going to work out in my favor. Because red is, red is going nuts. A little bit too nuts. Cancels the alliance and then fights the other player. What? What a strategy. Imagine. Imagine canceling an alliance and fighting the other player. <laughs> Just insane play. Does white somehow strike back? It's not going to be easy. White is too split. White has no chance. All right. It would be good to get our stack active. I'm just not sure how to do it. Well, all right. Cool. Uh, I'm not going to smash. I think these guys... I kind of expect that these guys will take care of all this for me. I need my stack active. But how to activate it? I don't know. Maybe I don't have to do anything. Maybe it was a little bit more accurate to bring my three up. Whatever. Don't want to be in the alliance. <laughs> okay, I'll work with white to fight you. But I'll let white do a lot of the, the heaviest of lifting. Why are you keeping 19 there? You're going to hit my 21, huh? Which is pretty ridiculous. At some point, I just... I should hit something and bring this stack out, I suppose. I have to give up Australia, potentially, to do it. But maybe white will just... Maybe white will make this game easy for me. Look at that. Look at that. Amazing. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So red will get whatever they get, so they'll bust back in. I just put people here in the Middle East. Will red take my Australia? I mean, probably, but like, whatever. You know what? Here's how we do it. We first get these guys out. Yeah, we'll make some big stack in like the Middle East or something. Something that can kill either player. <laughs> Imagine if I was your ally, Red, and I helped you fight white. Wouldn't that be something? But as it is, I'm the strongest player. Do not bot out. Please don't bot out. Ah! Botting out is most annoying. All right, I really should have one huge stack. <laughs> Botting out is the most annoying because then it's me versus white. The worst case scenario is red bots out and then comes back. Because I'm going to go fight white and then they're going to come back. But I have a, a giant lead on white. I have more territory, more troops, more cards. <sighs> but that helps, even in bot form. Sorry, I can't talk right now. Only the only one text message so far this video.
Okay, we'll see what white chooses to do. I have two avenues in to fight white. I can come up here, break into Greenland, or I can run this way, break into Alaska, whichever is the cheapest. White is still fighting the bot. I mean, this bot is going to hit your 13. All right, white is really sunk. Unless red comes back. Do you, do you know that red is a bot? I don't know if they know. This, this hurts. This is this is really going to hurt your feelings, White. <laughs> I feel dirty. I feel dirty about it. Not going to lie. It doesn't bring me great joy to do this to you, brother. <laughs> but laugh about it. That's fine with me. All right. And now if the bot breaks the 17, I mean, you're you're absolutely sunk. I left just 10 here just so that white doesn't have any way of breaking Australia. Our alliance is over. No kidding. <laughs> We're the last two humans left. Look, you can still easily get second place, okay? Smash everything into red. I like you more than red. I'll be I'll tell you the truth. It's not personal. It's just how the the game works. It's, it's kind of sad. If I have the opportunity, I'll obviously give white second place. I don't want to reward the bot. But I'm so much stronger than white that I have to break them. Now, if they smash the bot, I give them second place. But they also broke my alliance, so you know what? General Cade? I guess we're not friends anymore. Okay, he's going to hit me, so I got to hit him first. Oh, I'm sad. It pains me. It pains me. That was not enough to guarantee 100%. Okay, we're gonna Is the bot going to take out this one? Maybe. I, you know what? It's not personal, it's just business. White can still save it. <laughs> you can still muster up a second place. The way you get second place, though, if you're in white's position, is you you have to, like, full send on red. If he, like, turns in here and, like, smashes the 19 or something, he had a way to get second. He's just not... He's not playing for second. He's playing for first from a losing position, which is, I don't know, un an unlikely thing. And now we're going to enter another situation. I keep finding myself in this situation where it's me versus a significantly stronger bot. The bot has two continents. Usually this works out in, in my favor. I'm not so much weaker than the bot. Let's see if white has a turn in. I do not have a turn in. <clears throat> I can easily kill white if they don't. If they have a turn in... <coughs> It's going to be interesting. What I expect will happen is white will turn in and they will slam into me. The correct thing to do is to make an alliance, not e probably not even take a card, and then spam, like, attack red, attack red, heart, heart, heart. If you just keep fortifying in Japan, you make an alliance with me. You fortify into Japan. <clears throat> You're going to bot out. This is not the best way to get second place. Because now I'll just kill you. You're not you're not playing the game, so I'm going to kill you. Which is sad. You should have got second place for this one. But now you're going to get third place. Because I have to kill you. I'm not going to let you just grow as a, bat, a bot and get back into the game. If you're here, there's still, there's so many ways. There's so many ways. <laughs> All right, me versus two bots. So many ways. <sniffs> nice whiff. I don't know. I wanted to be able to kill this three. Ah! Alright, we'll kill a white. We'll turn in. 
A lot of ways you could have got second there. I would have given it to you. You were much more of my friend. Anyways, I'll be now making the largest trade-in in the history of the game. And I guess I actually win quite easily. Imagine that. Man. All right, I'm just gonna keep it easy. I'm gonna take South America. Cool. That's a pretty good turn. <laughs> the bot can't turn in. You can break Asia, whatever. I'm gonna end up with a couple of different continents. I'm way up on territories now. But it really is like, you don't give up. People I think are throwing away a lot of points uh, in risk by not playing for second. I feel like you almost always can get second place. In the game of risk, you should always be able to get second place in like almost every game. Because when you get into this position, if you have a good relationship, like we did, me and White, we had a good relationship. Uh, it, it's very easy to play play for second place. You can either slam into the strongest, the second strongest guy. I don't want to do math here. Just if nine doesn't cut it, we'll we'll figure it out on the next turn. Um, or you can just try to stay out of the way. You can keep the alliance. Whatever you do, don't give away your alliance. And I mean, there's always there's always a way. There's always a way to play for second. Don't give up. In, in chess, we, we often like to say, never resign. It's exactly the same in risk. Just never resign. Play for second place. Sometimes you're not going to be able to play for first. Take second place. Get a lot more rank. All right, let's see what they were rated. I'm guessing red and white were both beginners. And everybody else was like a novice that died immediately. Just kidding! Green was a beginner. Red was an expert. Incredible. White was a beginner. Expert. Beginner. Look at that. That was my first auto setup, whatever it's called, manual setup game. If you liked it, let me know. Subscribe.